Welcome back to Majora's Mask, and it's boss time. We're gonna mess a new up. For the first boss, this guy's actually kind of tough. Kind of. Well, with Tattle's expert advice, I'm sure you'll prevail. Alright, gigantic jungle man. I don't know what the fuck, but yeah. A duo? Uh, a Waldo? I, I say that. I don't know if that's correct. What is that noise? That's, uh, him. That's his jungle call. Sounds like he has But yeah, a you stun him with arrows that. and then you hit him with your sword. It's basic first boss strategy. Bomb plants! Yeah, there's bomb flowers in case you run out of arrows. There's also plants that regrow that have arrows. Wow, I would not think that tiny shield of yours would block a sword like that. Yeah, except he can do that. And this is where it starts getting a pain in the ass. Because he just summons shit from the ceiling. You know, it sounds like clinking armor while he moves. But he's only wearing a loincloth. Yeah, I know, right? Are you getting attacked by locusts? I'm, yeah, I'm getting attacked by mobs. They're barely doing any damage, though. Oh, and this attack's a pain in the ass, because I don't think there's any way you can avoid it. Because if, if he hits you, he'll just knock you into the fire anyway, and if you put your shield up, he just knocks you into the fire. Nice. I might be wrong about that, but... Oh, and this is the moment I discovered you could uh, cheese this fight, because if you do a jump slash, it resets his animation. Nice. I didn't even know you could do that until uh, I was recording this. I learned a lot of things recording this game. Well, it's good that this will be a learning experience. Yes. So, what's with the uh, flower shooter thingy in the center? Uh, I think you can use the strategy where you like jump up underneath him and that'll stun him. But I'm not sure. I've never tried it. It just I don't want to be Deku Link at all ever again. <laughs> Do you have to? Ever uh, again? once in a while, but not too often. And they never really explain where you are in this cutscene. I was just going to ask. Not explained. Oh right, the giants. That's why we're doing this. Yep. Save the giants. And they teach you a song which you don't use until the end of the game, right now. Which really, like, confused the shit out of me. Yeah, you'd think the last one would be. Yeah, you'd think they'd, like, I don't know, teach to you after Stone Tower Temple is over, but I guess not. Follow the Bouncing Fairy. Wow, it really is just bobbing with the melody. It, this is a pretty good song, though. I'm upset it didn't get a lot of use. By the way, remember that cutscene I forgot to record that I mentioned earlier? No. Alright, well, it's the next cutscene that I had to re-record and splice in. Alright. 
Because immediately after this, I paused the game, stopped fraps, and I went to go make dinner or something. And when I came back, I forgot to start recording again. <laughs> nice. So yeah, the giants are just heads on legs. Yeah, I basically. If they even have mouths. So we've cured the swamp water, nasty, disgusting swamp water. It's gonna be getting less purple right now. Yeah, now that we and now got there's a back that... door to the temple. How weird! Let's go inside. And now the swamp is no longer afflicted with urban decay. No, it is. It's. it's still afflicted just not as much well the white man bird white man's burden only extends so far have you done this before or what <laughs> fucking hate this fairy Wait, what did Tattle do to the horse? Uh, she's... Her and her brother, Tail, they, uh, spooked the horse so that I fell off. Oh, pfft, that's nothing. I thought she, like, diddled it or something. Whoa! There's... There's nothing over here. Let's go in here. Oh man, that was a hard puzzle. Alright, it's your Japanese anime waifu, the Deku Princess. She looks pretty anime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she does. Oh, you're gonna love how we take her back to the castle. You pick her up like the Zora princess? No, even better. Find something to carry you in. Well, okay. Oh god. Well, now that Link has powers over time, the implication is that he also gains ta powers over space. Sure, why not? House of Leaves. Yeah. <laughs> if only all women were so convenient. If only. Uh, I guess since I'm going to go get this heart piece that this is not the one that I forgot to record. So now you're wrong. Again. Listen, I don't know. I don't remember. I've recorded 33 fucking videos for this game, okay? <laughs> Speaking of which, to anybody worried about this LP getting abandoned, I've finished the fucking game already. It's done. So, because there's only four dungeons, that would mean there's a lot more heart pieces, right? Yes. Any mask that doesn't provide you, like, a direct benefit is usually just used for getting a heart piece. Only one. Making it even harder to get that heart piece. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to the fairy fountain. <laughs> Maybe I did forget to record that heart piece. But yeah, there's, I think... 36 heart pieces in this one? Something like that?
Man, what are her... Why does she have boots? Like... I don't know! She, she lives in a pond. Yeah, she's supposed to be, like, covered in nature and stuff. What's with the knee-high boots? Okay, I did the math, and apparently it's 52 heart pieces, but that doesn't sound right at all. I don't know, that does sound like a lot of heart pieces, which I would Yeah, I don't think there's that many. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to look 36 that up. sounded too low, though. I don't know. Well, there's, uh, 20 hearts, isn't there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's 20 hearts. Oh, yeah, and I... Okay, yeah, this is where I had to splice it in, because I stopped recording, so I don't get that heart piece on camera. But there's one on a chest you can fly to with the Deacon Flower. Yeah, I'm sure they can imagine more Deku flying. Yeah, you can... Just put your mind to it, you can do anything. We believe in you. Alright, the water looks all clear now. But Deku's can't swim, so they probably can't tell the difference. Exactly. Well, like, they're made of wood, they should float. I don't understand. Well, hollow wood has enough buoyancy, but... Alright, so now I just let the princess out of the bottle. <laughs> Is that the best part of the game? Because I would think that was the best There's... part of the game. It's the best part of this fourth of the game. <laughs> oh, it didn't really have stiff competition. Yeah. I just realized those sh scrubs had leaf mustaches. Yep. That's awesome. So we've cleared the monkey's name. And keep in mind, I reset time. This guy shouldn't know about it. This guy shouldn't know that we, like, talked to him before. What promise? I reset time! Well, the time resetting continuity is pretty fuzzy throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, you introduce a time travel mechanic that's gonna happen. We've already covered how the bank... Ignored. Yeah, the bank is magic. And your wallet empties, but your other inventory things don't. Alright, so, uh, when you beat dungeons, there's certain things that you can only do after, like, the area has been fixed. This is one of them. We're gonna be getting a mask. I like masks. Nice. Yeah. I... I've said it before and I'll say it again, I hate Deku Link. I guess you can't, uh, get on top of the willies as normal Link. Right, they'll just sink. I suppose I could have just swam over there. In retrospect. It might not have worked. Eh, maybe. Oh, it's G's. Yep, it's the DQ Butler. We have to race him. I recorded this so many times. I really hate the races and the 264 Zoas. <clears throat> Well, I don't think this guy throws fire at you, so this one's a little better. Except this race is a lot longer, and there's one part that is a completely terrible part. So is there just a part where you normally over- nice. Oh, whoops. Anyway, what were you saying? <laughs> So, do you just normally overtake them at one part, or is it, uh... 
Now you're, like, behind. Actually, I think I do overtake him at one point, and he speeds up to get, like, ahead of me. Oh, you're supposed to be following him. You're not supposed yeah. to beat him there. Yeah, because this is, like, a maze. If you get lost, you're fucked. Are you running slower? What do you mean? Like, as I go up the ramps? As you're not de as a Deku. Well, I'm not spinning constantly, so that's probably it. Uh. I think I am going slower, actually. And you gotta use the pro techniques of being a Deku. Yeah, this is the part where I overtake techniques. him. And see, he just fucking flies in front of me. You see that shit? Yeah, I saw it. That's a really good umbrella he's got. Yeah. I'm pretty oh, wow, sure he's very like fun card. Yep. There's a current here. It's not so bad, though. I think the next part is the worst part. There's... If you remember the Fire Temple, you'll know what's coming up. Ah, uh, it's been like four years since I played it. Do you like fire mazes? Oh god. <laughs> yep. Why is this in a plant person... Shrine? I don't know! I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Also... These parts of the, where there's no texture on the stairs, don't walk on those, you'll slide down. This is really just such an asshole sequence. Yeah, I had to record this a lot. But there are still other things in the game that are harder. Where'd he go? I hope I'm going the right way. I lost him. Yeah, I hope you are too. Oh, I hear him. We're good. Yeah, and there's fire here. What the fuck? It's like Minecraft logs. There's just fire on top of them. Really, what is the function of this building? I don't There's know. Just colored fire and bad fire everywhere, and those little buttholes around. Oh yeah, we're done. Thank God. That took forever. We get the mask of sense. We're gonna need that later on. Now he's talking about his son. Now, his son went missing during a race. If you'll remember in the first video, that crying tree we found, there's a theory that that's his son, and it's supported by a cutscene in the credits. But there, you don't, that's not a problem you solve? No. Because you can't go back to that area, it's inaccessible. Oh. Man, and... I have a terrible memory when it comes to these games. I already forget stuff from just like two videos ago. <laughs> Oh well, what you gonna do? That's why they're on video. Anyway, I think this is about the end of the video, so... I don't think I do anything else, except maybe reset time. Oh well, I'll see you guys next time, where we get to go to Snowhead, where the Gorons live. Bye. Thanks for watching.